There are several differences in pronunciation between Standard and Tunisian Arabic. Nunation does not exist in Tunisian Arabic, and short vowels are frequently omitted, especially if they would occur as the final element of an open syllable, which was probably encouraged by the Berber substratum. However, there are some more specific characteristics related to Tunisian Arabic, like the phenomenon of metathesis. Metathesis Metathesis is the shift of the position of the first vowel of the word. It occurs when the unconjugated verb or unsuffix noun begins with ccvc, where c is an ungeminated consonant and v is a short vowel. When a suffix is added to this kind of noun or when the verb is conjugated, the first vowel changes of position and the verb or noun begins with cvcc, for example. He wrote in Tunisian Arabic becomes KDB KTIB and she wrote in Tunisian Arabic becomes KTBT Kitbit. Some stuff in Tunisian Arabic becomes Dbish DBAs and my stuff in Tunisian Arabic becomes Dbishi Dabsi. Topic: Stress. Stress is not phonologically distinctive and is determined by the word's syllable structure. Hence, it falls on the ultimate syllable if it is doubly closed, shrival sirwal, trousers. Stress falls on all the word if there is only one syllable within it, emra emra, woman. Affixes are treated as part of the word, ink bulkum nicked bulkum, we write to you, for example, japt jabit, she brought, ma jach ma jabits, she did not bring. Topic. Assimilation Assimilation is a phonological process in Tunisian Arabic. The possible assimilations are Phonemes Consonants Tunisian Arabic kaf has q and as reflexes in respectively sedentary and nomadic varieties, he said as ql instead of l. However, some words have the same form. Whatever the dialect, kao is always bara the per gram, deriving from an originally Arabic q, and a specific species of date is always digla the per gram, deriving from an originally Semitic q, e.g. Aramaic, dikla, date tree. Interdental fricatives are also maintained for several situations, except in the Sahil dialect. Furthermore, Tunisian Arabic merged d, d with eth. Phonetic notes p and v are found in borrowed words and are usually replaced by b, like in babar and bala. However, they are preserved in some words, like pison and talza. T and d, z are rarely used, for example, sisa, zira, and zair. Like in Standard Arabic, shada. Gemination is very likely to occur in Tunisian. For example, hadad hdd meaning to threaten. Topic: <inaudible> Vowels. Unlike other Maghrebi dialects, short u and i are reduced to o and e when written between two consonants unless when they are in stressed syllables. Topic: Syllables and pronunciation simplification As well as those characteristics, Tunisian Arabic is also known for differently pronouncing words according to their orthography and position within a text. This phenomenon is known as pronunciation simplification and has four rules. I and at the end of a word, are pronounced I and U. Also, U is pronounced U and A, a and A are pronounced A. For example, yibda is practically pronounced as gbde. If a word finishes with a vowel and the next word begins with a short vowel, the short vowel and the space between the two words are not pronounced elision. If a word begins with two successive consonants, an epithetic is added at the beginning. <laughs> 